Daniel's pipeline board. Let's see, well, as far as uh, you know, shaping in the shed, where I'd take old boards and try and whittle them down to something for my children to ride and play around on. That's probably five, six years ago. If you make it really easy to wrap and there's no hard edges, we'll be happy. There's been like a really concentrated effort in the last four years where I've been at Randy Richenberg's shop where he's you know worked for 30, 40 years out of. Basically hit it with the rough pad, hit it with the power soft pad, and then hit it with so now it's still 200. 639 minus what? 400? And I work with Shane Smith at his computer, you know, CNC cutting place on, on that design aspect. And, and that's been four years. It's been, you know, everything I do on that water. Outside. If I make 100 boards a year, you know, there's you know, 60 to 80 new surfers out there on those boards. You know, a lot of my customers are repeats. A lot of the kids, you know, they have four to six boards. And, and there's my dad. He's got the most. <laughs> <laughs> the end result, when somebody goes, man, that board works unreal. I was ripping. You should have seen me. That's it. <laughs> I mean, that's what I do it, you know? As that evolved, and not only my designs got better, working with my friends who ride much there's different equipment than I do and trying to find what their sweet spot is and, and getting that formula together and you're 180 pounds, an average surfer, you're 200 pounds, an excellent surfer, you guys might actually ride the same board. That's what I enjoy here is that custom experience that has been lost in today's society with whether you're buying online at Amazon your socks or you're buying a custom surfboard. You know, there's, there's mom and pop shops and places like Richenberg's, they're almost non-existent today. Working with the kids here, you know, started with my kids, and then it quickly moved to Zoe, who's one of my daughter's best friends the same age, and they were surfing together and learning together, and beast out in the water free surfing. She gets waves from the guys, she gets waves from older competitors all the time, and she deserves them. And she's a national champion at 13 years old, and the future is what she makes of it. Robbie's been riding my boards for a long time, you know, on and off. He also rides boards for, you know, one of my good friends and my main sponsor going when I was in the career aspect and on tour was Lost and Mayhem. And with my brother still working with Matt and Lost very closely and I still communicate with him all the time, we've been able to hook up Robbie with the opportunity to work with Matt worldwide in California. He's been a lot of time out there and he's getting that experience he requires at such a high level of surfing he's doing right now. Been, been awesome and him and Daniel Glenn have been the two kids and now they're at that 20 year you know 18 to 22 range where they need to really get out of Florida and that's what we're seeing and compete on the big stage and bigger waves as they're becoming you know men and, and they're ripping and they're as good as and, and talented and have as much potential as anybody in the world right now in their age graphic and their you know their peer group so when these kids are trying to going to outer space, I've already been there and I can show them the way a lot easier without as many mistakes as I made myself. <laughs> That's the goal. <laughs>